Hello, I'm your host, Amberlynn Carroll. Thank you for joining me on this episode of MedWatch Today. COVID-19 is often associated with difficulty breathing, but doctors are learning more about the virus and the effects not only on the lungs, but other parts of the body. When Gary Hill was exposed to COVID-19, he immediately started noticing symptoms associated with the virus. Yeah, I was feeling terrible. And it's just, I couldn't breathe. I mean, taking a shower, I'd have to open up the window in our shower to breathe the cold air so that I could, you know, continue to take my breaths. I couldn't take deep breaths. They were always really shallow. Gary says he thought his symptoms were side effects from his medication, not realizing they were the start of something more. COVID-19 virus uh, does, does not affect uh, the respiratory system. It can have effects throughout the body. And one of the systems it uh, uh, attacks is the heart system or cardiovascular system. In Gary's case, his shortness of breath and decline in stamina were followed by extreme swelling. It uh, tends to uh, uh, be attracted to certain receptors or proteins in the heart muscles or in the, uh, in the blood vessels, and that can have direct effects. It can also create what's called a cytokine storm or inflammatory reaction, and that can have effects on the heart and the circulatory system. Gary's wife, Dana, is a nurse at Clovis Community Medical Center. He hadn't slept at all, and he was just sitting in the chair, and he looked so miserable, and I'm just like, okay, this isn't right. She decided to take her husband to Clovis Community after noticing his persistent symptoms just didn't seem right. He received a stunning prognosis. Not only was he in congestive heart failure, but he was in liver failure. He was in kidney failure. They were bringing in dialysis. The way they explained it to me was that both sides of the heart were enlarged. So it was really bad. That's when the doctor said it was like, you know, if he would have waited another week, he would have been dead. Gary had to have surgery to implant a left ventricular assist device known as an LVAD, which is a pump that supports a failing left side of the heart. In uh, different uh, research, they've said it could be anywhere from 1 to 8 percent in the population of those who are affected with COVID who can have some degree of uh, uh, permanent damage to their cardiovascular system. Dr. Sham Sudin Kwaja with Community Medical Centers says although Gary Hill's case was unique, having advanced care like this in the Valley is life-saving. It wasn't too long ago, you know, maybe a decade ago that uh, someone like that would have had to get emergency airlifted to another hospital. But because of the investment, because of our good doctors in the Valley, we can have now a very successful LVAT program and heart failure program. For Gary and his wife, that life-saving care has allowed them to share their story and educate others on protection against COVID-19. If you're sick, you know, you, you better go to the doctor for sure. Uh, that probably would have saved a lot of, uh, you know, time in the emergency room and time in the ICU. If I would have just went to the doctor with the symptoms that I had. COVID-19 vaccine has been shown to uh, prevent serious disease and prevent serious um, effects on the, uh, the effects of virus on the body. Now we're talking about not only boosters, but getting a vaccine for the fourth time. And it's very important that we talk to our uh, practitioners, your family practitioner, about making sure that that fourth booster is going to be appropriate for you.